friends welcome to the structural geology mcqs for various geological exams and in this video we will see from question number 29 to question number 34 so let us begin with our question number 29 and it is asking about the plunge of a fold means so let us see about the plunge sometimes plunge may be confused with the either it is the inclination of fold axis or it is the inclination of hinge line so let me differentiate between these two that uh, suppose uh, you have a fold like this and this is your hinge line as well as your fold axis and the inclination of this line you will say the inclination of fold axis and that will be the plunge of fold but sometimes fold axis and hinge line are not same just like you have a box fold which looks something like this so here you have fold axis like this okay but this fold axis is not coincide with the hinge line here hinge line is this the line of maximum curvature line which joins the points of maximum curvature so here in this case the in we will measure the inclination of fold axis okay that means the correct definition of plunge will be the inclination of fold axis with horizontal so here fourth option will be our right answer so don't confuse between the fold axis and the hinge line now next question is the stereographic projection of the two folds are as follows so these are the two stereographic projections related to the fold 1 and fold 2 and you have to interpret which folds are these so let us see how we will interpret these folds firstly we will draw the axial plane so for fold 1 if we see the axial plane is uh, vertical as it is passing through the center so let us make an axial plane which is vertical okay this is vertical and uh, it is making the 90 degree angle with the horizontal so it is the vertical plane now there is a fold in this vertical plane with the axis plunging in this direction with a small plunge plunges this much the distance from the outer circle so plunge is small uh, say around 20 degree so 20 degree plunging fold is there so let us draw a fold axis which is 20 degree plunging say this is the 20 degree and then fold will become something like this and you can see that which fold is this this is the upright plunging fold upright fold because the axial plane is vertical and plunging means the axis is plunging now if you look about the second fold the axial plane is also inclined and axial plane is inclined in this direction so uh, we can make a plane something like this okay which is inclined somewhat okay and along with this plane your axis of fold is also inclined and this axis is exactly the same inclination as of the uh, which is equal to the dip of plane so if plane is dipping along this angle then the axis of fold is also dipping in the same direction with the same amount of dip so axis of fold will become this green line and uh, you can see that fold closure how will be the fold closure fold closure will be like this okay so now here you can see that uh, dip of axial plane is in this direction and the inclination or the plunge of axial axial line of axis or uh, uh, we should say the uh, fold axis is also in the same direction so it is defining the reclined fold what is the definition of reclined fold the when uh, fold axis is dipped directly down the dip of axial plane so here you have the first 
that is the upright lunging fold and second which is the recline fold so we can say that here first option will be our right answer that first is the upright plunging fold and second is the recline fold so here answer is uh, not 4 this is the option number 1 now let us move towards the next question that is question number 31 which of the following folds is characterized by a constant orthogonal thickness in all the pairs of a fold so if you have read the Ramsey's fold classification you will see that uh, he has classified fold into the three different classes class 1 class 2 and the class 3 so here in the class 1 there is further subdivisions and if you will look in the class 1 v fold there is parallel the outer arc and the inner arc both are parallel that means they are characterized by a constant orthogonal thickness in all the pairs of fold so here it is termed as the parallel fold now keep in mind sometimes uh, we have a confusion related to the parallel and similar folds because the class 2 has the parallel lines or the parallel isogons so don't confuse with the class 2 fold if you have the parallel limbs then it will call as similar fold sorry if the parallel limbs are there it will call parallel fold and if the isogons dip isogons are parallel then it will call similar fold so here second option will be your right answer now next question is two strike slip faults f1 and f2 shows the side stepping as illustrated fall below so these are the two fo two faults f1 and f2 and this is the area where you have to find out what is going on either they are the pull apart basins or the push up basins so if you will look in the fault one you will find that the this area is moving in this direction and this is moving in this direction that means they are pulling and the structure will be the pull apart basin same condition is in the f2 fold here the one force is in this direction another is in this direction so both of these f1 and f2 are the pull apart basins and hence first option will be our right answer now write in the comment box what structure will be find in this pull apart basin now the next question is our question number 33 if the pitch of a linear structure on a bed of attitude north 30 degree east no, uh, 50 degree dip in the southeastern and the plunge uh, sorry the pitch is 90 degree so we have to find out the plunge of that linear structure now let us consider that uh, this is our plane and the strike is your north 30 degree east as it is given in the question and the dip direction this is the dip direction so here the direction is 50 degree southeast now it is talking about the pitch of linear structure which is 90 degree so pitch means the angle between the strike and the linear structure so if we move from the strike either in this way or in this way definitely 90 degree will be your the direction of dip direction so your linear structure are something like this so as they are dipping in the same direction to the dip of bed so plunge will be the amount of dip that is 50 degree now if the we will change the plunge say the plunge is uh, 45 degree then the angle will become half and the linear structure will found in this way and then it is not in the direction of dip of bedding plane so it will change the amount of plunge so keep in mind if the linear structure is plunging in the same direction the dip of bed then the dip and plunge will be same so here second option will be your right answer now the next question is question number 34 
it is saying that in a normal limb of fold dip of cleavage is either it is smaller similar greater or half than to the bedding dip so if you will look any fold any fold such as this is a fold and here you have the normal limbs this one and this one and in any fold there are cleavages and these cleavages are always developed parallel to the axial plane so cleavage will develop something like this okay and if you will look any portion on the normal limb you can see that the limb is dipping in the less angle than that of your cleavage so this is the case of normal limb you can take another fold for the normal limb like this okay this is asymmetrical fold and if you will look the axial plane it will it will something like this so if you will look the cleavages will develop something like this and let us draw and you will finally get that the dip of cleavage is here is also more than that of the limb but if you look an overturned limb like this so this is the overturned limb and here the axial plane is something like this and hence you can see that now the condition of dipping is changed if we will cut in this way you will find that the dip of limb is more than that of uh, than that of the cleavage so now you can say uh, by saying the question that in a normal limb of fold dip of cleavage is always uh, greater than that of bedding dip so it's all about for today thank you in the next video we will see some next questions